podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss yeah, you hear that thing going in? Uh, yeah, we getting real yeah, up, baby. Boss That's the hardest yeah. intro. It's the hardest. Yeah, we excellent. came from the struggle. Watch this second, bro. I'm gonna, I don't Take let it play all the time. Play. Let's go. XO in the building. Boss talk. Tell me who's hot, who's not, who really on top, who got they on shop, the hustle don't stop, nope. same old shit, we're grinding, you know ain't nothing change one bit, it's a unique hustle, we done came okay. up this, yeah. name another yeah. podcast, I like this, cause E, he gon' swag it like me, he came from the bottom, he had it like me, he know how to hustle, he's great, what she got, what she got, that you want, he charging a fee, official Miss Jamaica, wait, roll the tape, she ain't never fake, she gon' be the one to really try to motivate, tell it to your face. Check it, man. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Mr. Jamaica. What's going on? Not none of my damn Man, Rallo, the you pimp, dig. is in the building, y'all. Stop the damn press. You better know it. Man, this guy right here, man, ain't never seen a cat man so fly, man, in these videos. I was watching this nigga video. I said, man, this nigga here to... I don't know. I done got mesmerized with this here, man. This nigga kicking it, bro. I, I was like... Hey. Like watching a movie, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had never checked in to you till after this second time when I was like, I, I don't, I won't watch nothing until I'm just, I'm about to interview you. Right, right. I'm right. this nigga, wow, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You to, be you know, working. Yeah, I try to do a little more than just your average, uh, you know, bunch of niggas standing in front of the, you know, camera pointing guns and. Oh you know, no, you fly. That type of shit, you know. No, I mean? you fly, man. I you like the cinematic shit. You know what I'm saying. I, like I said, when I've seen it, I think back. I think back to the the Snoop Dogs and 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 you know what I mean. Yeah, and the yeah, fa yeah, fabulous yeah. dramatics. You know, it, it had that type of feel when I would see one. Then the wig. I'm like, this nigga yeah, fly. Yeah. <laughs> you talking about how it is? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my joint. That messed me up, bro. Yeah. I ain't even see it coming, man. Yeah, yeah. I got a movie to that. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. man. Thank you for having me. Man, what you man, got for him? I know Mr. Jamaica like to start off. We don't let you just start like that, nigga. You ain't finna just come in here, <laughs> kick it like we that. We like to take it back because I like to get to know the people, the person that's sitting right here, not the artist, not anything else okay. that you do. I want to know you as a child growing up. Where are you from? I want to know uh, about your parents. I want to know it all. So uh, go ahead. Shit. Where are you from? Uh, I grew up Well I was born in Pensacola, Florida Okay Ooh that's where I want to go Cause that's where the beach Is eight hours away Yeah Yeah It's a little longer than eight A little eight. longer than eight though. Oh okay yeah, It's about eight But the beaches are pretty Orleans, right so there Maybe twelve Something like that Yeah, yeah. The, beaches are, the beaches yeah. are really they pretty They filmed one of the Jaws movies out there yeah. yeah. Oh, sh the, should I be scared? <laughs> nah, is it real? Nah, real, nah, it, was, real? It, was, it was it was it was all fake. But the uh, uh, it's all you know that's spring break town between yeah. there and Panama. City. That's the time I don't want to go. It's spring break because nah, it's yeah. it's too crowded. But it's pretty. Okay. Yeah, pretty. I, so I was how a baby, old were you? Though. I don't remember nothing. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I was a kid. I was like no, I wasn't even a kid. I was a baby. My dad was in the military. Oh, you another military baby? Yeah, but okay. I grew up in Galveston, Texas. They just love the beaches. It's everywhere close to where the beach is. Yeah, that's where all my family lives. So where your mama from? My mom? Mm -hmm. She from Galveston. Oh, she from... Oh, so that's why y'all came up here. So did your mom and dad split up? Oh, yeah. They was, I what? never known them to be together. Really? Yeah. And they was married, I believe, for about eight years by the time I was born. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't remember them together. Are you the only child? I got an older sister. Okay, brother. you the baby. I'm the middle kid. The middle. I got a little brother. Younger brother. brother. Okay. Okay, and um, so when your mom moved out back out here to Galveston, did your dad come with her out here, or nah, he where did he over. stay? In, in he was on the West Coast doing his thing. Okay, did you get to see him? Uh, every now and then, talk through, to him through life. Every now and then. Okay, so he yeah. he didn't take that much impact in your life then. No, not not a lot. Not until I got older. Once I got older, you know, we kind of, you know, got back together and started. No, trying to kick it again and whatnot, okay. but as a kid, no. Nah. Did you feel like um, you were missing that male presence when you were a kid growing up? Uh, a little bit, but you know, I had uncles. Okay. You know, I had an uncle that would come pick me up every Saturday, right okay. early. I That's had to good. go out to work, cut the grass. That's real. Pick pecans in his yard. Uh, I was on the roof. Pecan. I was painting whatever he needed me to do. I had That's to do good. that every Saturday. So, and then you know, I. My family was a lot of girls, so he definitely didn't want me hanging with the women all weekend. Yeah. So he'd come, yeah. I had to go hang with my uncles. And your younger brother went too? Uh, He did once he came, but my uncle, my younger brother's like 13 years younger than me. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's from my stepdad. Okay. When my mom got remarried. So. Okay. 
So he, did didn't, you, he didn't get it as rough as I got it. Mm, did you and your stepdad get along? Yeah, we was cool. We was all right. Okay, that's good. So after just, you... <laughs> so what was it like growing up in Galveston? You have to tell that nigga. Know. Wait a minute. You have to tell that nigga. You know, you're not my, ain't my real daddy. <laughs> you know, I didn't did that before. You ever had one of them yeah, moments? I had one. Yeah, I told my 16. stepdaddy that. I said, yeah. say, you man, I, I broke my leg. I don't want to see that nigga. I want to see my real daddy around this hole. <laughs> yeah. 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 It get, you know, it get like that, especially once I got a teenager. You know, we had yeah. our, you know, you know, I just felt like, you I, I, I just remember, I remember a time where I used to be like, Telling my mama, like, man, why is he talking to me? I'm talking to you. Why is he even in our conversation? You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. You know That's I'm real, saying? ain't it? That's real. That nigga like Melvin on, on, on Baby Boy. You know, Melvin <laughs> say, I try to be a good nigga. And I <laughs> Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Melvin, Melvin said, I did a dime, man. You know, see, you ain't no killer like me, Jody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Melvin choke shit out of Jody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the right nigga call yeah. for your mom, all right? <laughs> That's nah, tough love. that's real tough look. That, mm -hmm. that that hit home for a lot of niggas, man. Yeah, niggas, yeah. niggas seen that. I'm like, man, I remember, you know, like yeah. I had issues with my dad, my stepdad. I didn't like no nigga coming around like that, man. Right, right, man, right, you right. live was old nigga that really was just old nigga that just come around because he know it was good. Uh, we were getting the section eight, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Am I right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. not to pay, but like, you know, rent was about a thirty, forty dollar lick. Mm -hmm. We, you know, and it right. wasn't on him. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, that nigga didn't come or around. Somebody just coming out of jail prison and needed somewhere to stay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the way it be. But see, it was different. My stepdaddy, you know, we was in the projects. So when my stepdaddy came, you know, we got house. Oh, that was it. Yeah, I got my own room. Ooh, so, ooh. I got Jordans. Ooh, you know what I'm saying. So it was, you know, it was some perks. You did know what I'm saying, but you know, we just really wasn't that. Did you feel bad about it? Like after you got older, you knew he was a good man. You like, damn, he yeah, was all right. of course. You know, I did that too. Like, yeah, that nigga was all right, yeah, man. Yeah. That and that's what that's why I'm telling you now. Like, but when I was a kid, I ain't think about nothing. Yeah, yeah, I ain't give a damn about none of that shit. Yeah, he's still um, living, or yeah, yeah, he's still living. My yeah. dad passed. Yeah, you still you you rock out with him every now and then. Uh, yeah, he he recently just had surgery. He had uh, one of his legs amputated. Damn, mm, diabetes. I knew it. Damn, yeah. damn. That's one thing I can't stand about kids. They don't ever think about nobody else but themselves. Oh, yeah. When you're a kid, oh, yeah. that's yeah. On it. That's only. That's why I always say, until you put yourself in their position and get older, mm -hmm. where you have your own family and whatever, and you're like, dang, how did they do this? Manage all of this stuff yeah. and still function with a smile or whatever, and yeah. made it look so effortless. You right, know what right, I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. You won't appreciate Without your parents. Losing your top. Yeah. Exactly. So, man, you know you. You 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 got this thing called pimp on the back of your name, the pimp. You know, yeah. that's the part we about to yeah. talk about. When like did the that pimp. start? You know, I had pimp and Ken on the other day. Shout out to LD. I said it again. <laughs> I had my boy pimp and Ken just was on here a oh couple God. of days. We ago. had pimp and caprice. Hey, pimp and caprice. That you got that's a song on him. Like yeah. uh, we've had a few of you guys on here. Nobody want to break Fat down pimp? the pimping though. <laughs> I mean, you know, my boy he broke down a little bit. You know, pimp and Ken he broke down a little bit every time he comes so, to give yeah. me something. Yeah, yeah. Break down the pimping for me. Like if you're gonna really get out on Boss Talk 101 and they tell me about. How was it when you first decided I'm gonna jump into the game? And how old were you? And who introduced it to you? Uh, I was maybe I I consider myself kind of like a late bloomer. I was like 26. Oh, you were 26? Yeah, I wasn't 17. You know, you know, 16 or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I was like 26 and because you know, I where I was where I was at with this shit. Everybody in my neighborhood, niggas wanted to be drug dealers. I came out, you know, early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. Niggas wanted to sell weed, sell crack. Wasn't no pimps. I didn't see no pimps. You know what I'm saying? As, a, as You know, in high school, junior high, you know, I didn't see no pimping. I, I went to Prairie View. Uh, for, I went to college for a year. And when I was in Houston, we went to a strip club in Houston. And I think we seen some pimps in Houston. That was like my first little woo woo. But I still wasn't just, you know, turned on. We still was in the doing check licks, uh, selling, like I said, selling drugs. But I was the worst drug dealer you ever wanted to meet. 
Why? Now, what did you do wrong? I don't know. That's the thing, man. I never made a thousand dollars selling drugs. What? Drug. And that one, I'm, I'm saying. And like, how long did you probably, do it for? No, I probably made a thousand dollars all at one time. But I'm just saying, like in one night, you know how niggas make a thousand dollars, two thousand. Like I just couldn't make the money like that. And at one point, I had, I had everything. But you know, I got weed. I'm smoking it. You know, I got a little cocaine. My little white girl, she's sniffing it up. That's uh, why he couldn't make the money. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we partying and shit. You know what I'm saying? And so I just, and, and you know, uh, I just, I just, for that just wasn't my shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's what everybody around me was doing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really see no pimps up until, you know, I went to North Dallas one day and we went to the, uh, I went to a strip club and shit, it was, it was just, it was, it was on. And then, you know, I, it, it was crazy. I got a partner, you know. Who's that, that baby? Where you at? Oh, wow, you was at a oh, white one. Yeah, I was at a white one. You, yeah, knowing you. Was you was lipstick. Ooh, oh, yeah. ooh lipstick. lipstick is right there. I was, I was wondering if he was at Rhino, Spearman no, Rhino. No, 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 he on the track. Spearman Rhino. No, 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 he on the track. He over there by lipstick. Pandora. I know what lipstick yeah, is. Yeah, that's the track. That's yeah, it. Yeah. And it was going down. And we in the club. We leaving. At, this is like at 2 in the morning. We leaving. And behind Pandora, behind lipstick, it's going down behind that moment. I'm talking about they walk in, it's everything going it's on. It's rocking the yeah, track, rocking. they own it. Yeah, so that's you know, that's what kind of when I first saw it, you know, other than just being on TV, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, type shit. And this was like, like I say, early 2000s, you know what I'm saying? And so I've had a partner of mine that I knew through Chief, because like I say, me and Chief been cool for a long yeah. time. He was already kind of mashing in the partner of mine named Pretty Black. I came across a little female that was already you know, mm -hmm. kind of indulging in it. You know what I'm saying? So I called Pretty Black. He kind of laced me up. This is what you need to do. You need to woo, go get your phone. Yada, yada. Like back then, they had a lot of, they had a thing called A&E. And, &E and uh, 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 damn, the Observer magazine and things like that where they would advertise the girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I remember that. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. He told they sent them at the strip club. Yeah, so he told me how to go down there, put the girl on the we'll get the phone. It was, it was on and popping. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Give her the phone, it's gonna rain. You know what I'm saying? And so that's kind of how I got started. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and eventually and, and, it led to me being. Who was know, the first uh, one? I mean, you ain't got something. That girl was the first one. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You white girl? Yeah. No, that was a, that was actually a black girl. Really? Yeah. But the the first one that actually gave me some real money was a white girl. Though. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. the black girl, how long did you keep her for? Because she wasn't making you that much money like the white girl was. That first one, maybe a month and a half. It yeah, because she didn't last that long. Yeah, it wasn't that I long. quit paying. Because I really didn't know what I was doing, too. I had it one time. You had, yeah, you I had it. Oh, you quit? Right? Yeah. Well, well, I, well, it was a, this? Was, this was a long time ago. <laughs> and I had her, man. And she, you know, she worked at the strip club, man. Mm -hmm. And I had her, man. And, uh, man, she killed my pimping, dog. She was hard-headed. You know what I'm saying? I oh, couldn't. Yeah, I could could you make any money off her? Not really, not like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I was better at selling drugs than pimping. We were backwards. You, you know what I'm saying? Be firm. <laughs> you got to be firm, man. She yeah. got a whole head. No, nah, she was hard at it. I couldn't figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Pimpology, the book. It didn't help me. The yeah. thing is, I was trying to figure this track thing out. It was confusing. Yeah. And then these the, the strip clubs save them. So when you're dropping off a strip club, they they really, they they halfway in, halfway out. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, it, it's different now because when I first came in the game, it's it's like if you had girls in the strip club, they feel like you weren't doing no pimping. See what I'm saying? You had to have, you know, your bitch had to be down on the on concrete the street. walking, right? You know what I'm saying, in order to be accepted by your peers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. And so, uh, but now it's you know it's kind of different. How did you, you know get the name though, Rollo the Pimp? Did you change it to that? Yeah, I mean, I did that once I started doing music. I was always known by Rollo. My, I put the pimp on it simply because when you Google or put in Rollo the Pimp on uh, iTunes or anything like that, when you put up Rollo, it's a hundred of them that's going to pop up. Mm -hmm. But when you put up Rollo the Pimp, you the only one I'm the only one popping up. Mm -hmm. On the Instagram, on Google, anything. You put in Rollo T-H-A the Pimp, I'm the only one pop up. So, so I, really, I basically did that to kind of separate myself right. from everybody else once so, I started doing music. I want to know, so... With these girls, which one is better to handle, the white girls or the black girls? What? 
You ain't heard the Big McGinn song. The white girl is the, the black girl no, is the, 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 the white girl gonna get it, get it, get it. The black girl is not gonna be with it. That's just sound good. That's just a song. Yeah. Ah! That's just sound good. Big McGinn. That, that song is what I thought was people was about. Nice. It's, it's, it's not about the white bitch. It's about the right bitch. Oh, okay. You did what I'm saying? And she could be black, white, Chinese, Mexican. They all can be a fool. I don't, you know, understand what I'm saying? I don't had white women act just as crazy as a black woman. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I don't had black women that act as as like you would think a white woman would yeah. act. You know what I'm saying? So I I don't see the roles reverse. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on how they was, you know, what type of environment they was raised. You know how did saying? um because. I don't know a lot about pimping, but I remember. <laughs> Where you be pimping me? <laughs> yeah, please. But you I remember. Like, you, you got the hat on and everything. Yeah, see, it look kind you of You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm over here. I mean, <laughs> man, I can't get out of line over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I remember at one point where I think it, um, hoes, as they say, um, became independent, so to say. What? Where Renegades? They didn't really need, they didn't they really need no pimp. Renegades. Because I think that, because I remember when, um, I don't remember what they called them. Um, they were more high class hoes. Escorts. Escorts. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> they didn't. I don't think escorts need no pimp. Escorts. They do their thing on their own, and they weren't considered as a prostitute or nothing like that because they. Uh, but know. a lot of the escort services are owned by pimps. Pimps. You okay. So the the girls are, girls are attracted to girls. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times you'll see the escort service and the girls will be the face of everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they not actually running, you know, behind the scenes and things like that. It's, it's so A lot of times it's a man that's, that's running. I got several uh, partners of mine that have escort services to this day in Vegas. But the female is, she's checking, you know, the girl. She's, you know, she's running everything. So to the, on the outside looking in, you may think that that's her service. But no, he's the one that's behind us. You know, the puppet master. Ain't no behind. female pimps? Yeah, Matt, ain't they got madam? Uh, nah, I no. mean, it is, but I mean, I mean I've mean, i known some girls. I don't. It's no female pimps, but it, it's some Why madam. not? I mean, because I just don't think it's... Why well, it's is madams. it? It's old ain't that, am I so right, though? Like that madam thing is... Yeah, but, you know, it's to me, madam I thing, don't, man. you know, I, I so mean... So you me a woman can't be a pimp? I don't think so. Why? I mean, because I feel like... If I offer, if it's a price, she got a price. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a pimp ain't going to sell itself. You know what I'm saying? But Yeah, so, some women who might not want to sell themselves. But it's probably, it's a price. It may be a million dollars. It may be 30 million. It's a price. It may be a hundred million. But it's a price. But it's a price. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So Pimbin. that's why I always feel like... Pimbin. Pimbin. And some men, and men not going to sell no, themselves. No, hell no. no ain't pimp. no price. Not no real pimp. Not no real pimp. Now, some, 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 some funny guys <laughs> might do it. You know what I'm saying? But nah, not no pimp. So let me... Let me, let me I had one more question. What? In today's industry, the way how... Um, are... How can I say this? Are pimps pimping both men and women... Uh, that's another. That's what I'm saying. Not <laughs> a real pimp. I'm just sure, because you know in today's time you have a lot of that some, sort of stuff out here. They got some men here. that's doing that. Okay, I'm that's not, why I was I'm wondering. Not, I'm not gonna but he like ain't stumped down, is he? But he not really. That's, he cut from a different cloth. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah, just that checking. That ain't silk. That's burlap. Uh, <laughs> you know that's that's <laughs> that's something else. I don't know what that is, but that you know that go on. You know what I'm saying? Because I've I've heard of that. You yeah, know, I was just wondering on. because you know that industry is out there, so right, that's why right, I was right. like, you know, who is doing it? But yeah, but yeah, ain't no, ain't no. Ain't no you ever get peeled for no your bar. bitch, man? What? <laughs> that's when I thought I was. That's what made me think I was really in the game. I didn't think nobody knew who I was. And what happened? And then somebody called. I, you know, my little female I had, and she wouldn't give me but thirty-seven dollars a day anyway. <laughs> You know what I'm saying at the time, but that was my game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? And, and so she, you know, she came up, you know, she then, you know, I went to the little spot where I used to pick up. She wasn't there, so I'm like, well, God damn. Okay, so I, you know, I was wait there for a little minute, so I go on by my business. And later on, I get a phone call. I, I don't know what the cat name is, but he, he introduced himself, told me who he was, and told me that he had got the bitch, and Woo, woo, woo. So, you know, I was I, I had mixed emotions. I was like, damn, 
You know what I'm saying? Because that was the only thing I had going at the time. But then once I hung up the phone, you know, I was, you know, I thought about it differently. Like, damn, he called me. Yeah, must, yeah, you know, he called me. Yeah, I'm gonna get some baby, right? yeah. So I just had to go out and give me another one. Is that the protocol for yeah. them to call you? Because that same thing Pimpin' um, Ken said. Yeah, yeah. That's, when they that's got a that, that, I mean, yeah. because you know, if you got a girl out there, you know, as, you know, any real P, you know, you concerned about your woman. You know what I'm saying? You concerned about her whereabouts and what she's doing and all that. It ain't, you know, we ain't trying to, you know. It, it, Contrary to what the uh, TV and what these uh, movies may say, you know what I'm saying? We we care about our people. So when they not answering the phone and they been out here and we know what this job consists of, all kind of weirdos, all yeah. kind of crazy yeah. shit going yeah. on. So if she's supposed to call you every hour, every two hours, whatever it is, when that phone call don't happen, you start getting worried. The first thing you start thinking, oh, Lord, the police done got her. Mm-hmm. And then once you start calling the police station and she ain't there, then you start thinking maybe, oh, I hope Jack the Ripper ain't got her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? And so the phone call is to let the pimping know that, hey, man, she's cool, she's safe. I don't want you to break the plate over there, but I got some news that you can use this morning. You understand what I'm saying? The bitch done got on up and she done came on home with me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You done called somebody too. That's why you explain like that. Nigga, that pill? Well, how did you feel when you first peel? When you peel, how did it go down? Oh, yeah, you know, this. You know, of course, you on the phone trying to, uh, okay, I'm going to tell him, like, oh, you know, wait a minute, let me say like that. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nah, that ain't cool. That ain't pippers enough. Okay, let me tell Hey, man, I got the pi- Nah, that ain't cool. Oh, man, nigga, I got You know, you're going to go over there a few times, you understand what I'm saying? And then you're going to go on and do your spiel, you know what I'm saying? And Kyle, and like I said, if you're dealing with another gentleman that's been in this shit for a while, it's going to be cool. It's going to be smooth. He's going to probably give you some game. He'll tell you a little bit about the female. You know what I'm really? saying? Y'all may meet up, talk. You know what I'm saying? I met up with a guy. We done talk, had a drink. He did, We done exchanged. After you took her from him. Yeah, he done brought me her clothes because she got her belongings. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we meet up. He bring me the clothes. That's we may real. meet up at a titty bar or something. We have some drinks. He may tell me you know, a few things about her. You know, he may give me some game. And, woo, woo, woo. and then it's cool. We're cordial. And then you got some guys. That went left. But they want to kill you. Yeah, that's what I. That's that's what I would have thought would have happened. Yeah, some yeah some guys yeah some guys you gotta just know that not to even call. Cause that's you that, know that's that the type money you man. know that nigga too though already yeah, yeah, you yeah, already know much, y'all know each other pretty, in the street yeah because pretty much you gonna put him in the, in the fire if you get a girl from Max so and so and you don't know him you gonna call you know your friend hey man you heard of him you heard of him you heard of him oh if, before if, you made that call yeah so if, if he don't come in nobody's rolodex nobody in the city knows him oh yeah I probably not even finna call him yeah cause he ain't no nigga that's real out here doing yeah, it like this yeah he lot of child yeah, so what do you say to up. these girls when you go up to one when you see one cause you see okay that pimp got one and she the prized possession I'm finna take her what do you go up to these girls and say I mean a lot of times you you just pose to be chose. You don't, you don't even you don't that. even say nothing. Yeah, if, if if it's on you, you know if it's in you, you know what I'm saying. She, you know, it's in you and we all we know what it is. You understand what I'm saying? She know what I'm doing. I know what she doing. So if she want to make a move, you know, he may have, he may have did something wrong last night. She may have brought home all the money. And he didn't think it was enough. He beat the shit out of us. Wow. You know what I'm saying? He so, was hard on him out yeah. here. Yeah. And so the next day when she see you. Yeah. You know, and she may hear about how you running your program. She want to go over there. Yeah, I want to go. Because they talk, the streets talk. They oh, know. Yeah, they yeah. Know. yeah, the female's going to talk. Yeah, he good nigga. What's the, most, the street. what's the most you ever made from one woman? Oh, man. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a pretty penny. In yeah. one night. And, yeah, it's a pretty penny. How much? I'm My homeboy told me I'm when curious. he quit doing the barbershop, I ain't going to say his name. He say. I make, what he tell me? He say, I make, uh, my girl do a hundred dollars a, uh, I got two girls that do a hundred dollars a day. He broke it down. He ended up being like, uh, a hundred dollars a day. A hundred dollars, five hundred dollars a day. Five, it was between two girls. Whatever the case it was, it was seven thousand dollars a week. Is what he said. I ain't gonna uh, never be working nowhere. Is what the nigga told yeah, me. And, and he ain't work no more. Yeah, and to be honest, that's the way a nigga it, told me. That's that's that can be a low number depending on. But you see what I'm saying? He was like that. He had just started. He's right, like, right, right, nigga, right, I'm just getting into it, nigga. I'm doing this, and I made, I, it averaged, it made seven thousand a week. Yeah. That's yeah. what it did. Five, I know that five hundred dollars a day is fifteen thousand dollars at the end of the month. 
Yeah. Because when yeah. I think about yeah. escorts and stuff like that, you know, when escorts just first came in, I think about es- those are the ones who go with them doctors, lawyers, who don't, who, the discreet ones. Right, right, you know, right, who right, don't, right. and they're going to be paying that big, big money. And, and, and now it's, you know, they probably on some type of internet service. or It's not even internet service. It's just about the circles. If you know what circles to mingle in and what, you know, because you don't even have to be associated with no type of internet or social media, any of that type of stuff to be in that circle. But you just have to know where those type of guys be. Let me ask you this, man, because because I'm, I'm I always talk about God. I got to bring God into this thing. Mm-hmm. Um, do you ever think about spiritualism when you out here going through all this stuff? Uh, yeah. Let's course. be real. Yeah, of course. You know like you be saying? like, because damn. I mean, but I then it's like in the Bible else. though. When you look at certain things and situations mm-hmm. where yeah. that was dancing or or you might or, or, or Rahab, right, you got right, these right. these these characters that's wrote you know that's talked right, about right, in there. Right, right. Matter of fact, Jesus was from a lineage of Rahab. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, do you think about these things in that whole? Because it was around. Even if you come from a biblical perspective. I've always prayed for me and any girl that worked for me, especially when she out on the streets. You know what I'm saying? I may not be doing what you want me to do, but... What who I, wants I, you to do? I mean, the man upstairs. You don't. You don't know. I, I, I don't know. People, that's why that that you mess up at. Because yeah. I think a person that that God can snatch anybody out the fire, and I don't. Uh, th- I think uh, He meets you where you are. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah I don't I think. Know. I don't think there's no big eyes and little U's with God. Yeah. That's the difference in the way that I look at it. Yeah. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it makes perfect. So I can't come here. It's a personal relationship. Right, right. Who right. am I? And that go for all the big time whoever they think they are. Exactly. It's between you and God. So who is who is a man to tell you anything? Right. I mean, does that make, make sense? Yeah, it makes plenty of sense. Now I'm not but, telling you this. What you doing is perfect, cause hell, I ain't perfect. Yeah. Even the person that you talk that, to ain't perfect. That, so that, I can't set up and right, be like, right, oh right. yeah, he he doing this. That's what niggas do. Yeah. Whether it be somebody that's gay, or whether it be somebody that's pimping, or whether it be somebody that think they straight that's is lying all the time. Yeah. It yeah. all boils down to the same thing. It's a it's a gumbo. Yeah. Gumbo, just, <laughs> part of everything. I mean, you're like, how did he bring God into that like that and spin nah, this but like I mean, this? You know, but I'm a realist. Yeah, That's I, why I do this. I know, know, I know a lot of guys in this game that are spiritual. Though. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And you would think, females too, and you would think that we would be far from it. But no, I know a lot of females, a lot of guys that, you know. I would think I, that I you would be close to it. Well, I think you yeah, are the but, church because the word church comes from a Greek word meaning ecclesia. It simply means to be called out from among them. Yeah, it doesn't exactly. mean a building when you look at it in the book anyway. Right. So I can't even ride with that. You right, see what I'm right, saying? Right, right, My right, thing right. is to just tell you when you are called out just to continue to strive to be a better person every that's day. It. That's it. That's it. Yeah. And that don't do. go. That ain't just for you. That's for me. That's for whoever that that feel like they're trying to. And that's what everybody trying to do: be a better person. Right. Am I just justifying your walk? No, but I'm saying these other people who perpetrating the fraud and trying to tell you that you can't serve God in any condition is lying because that's the antagonist. Right. The antagonist right. is right. the one right. that blames and yeah. come at you in a way to tell you you can't no more. Hey, now we have a church. Today. Man, I went there. I took it there. I just want to show you. This is how God gave it to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm being real. Like, you know, ain't no big eyes and little use with him. Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like, I take every opportunity. I can't even have no show without without bringing him up because he's been too good to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Real talk. But yeah. back to the pimp, man. Let's get back to one it. one question about that before I get out. Oh, right, here we go. Question. This is What's the that? problem okay. right here. So she, maybe she wanted to jump, jump out there into that pimp life. Mm-hmm. Huh? No. That hat is working what? on her. I'll be the first female pimp. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah, whatever. Mess around and get pimped out. Hey, yo, listen, whatever. You got to be stern. You ain't stern enough. Get out there on that block. It's late at night, dog, cold, nigga. You go get my money. <laughs> oh no, I let that. Oh, no, I, was gonna gonna say, gonna, I let that gonna do all my talking for me. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Okay, look, yeah, look at him, boy. Look at him. Don't worry, boy. Look just like a mama. Yeah. But, no, cause I watch a lot of movies. Oh, right? here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, do all pimps have like a little black book with a whole bunch of names in it? Oh them? Lord. They that, got phones and stuff yeah. with everything no, in it. No, but I'm talking about, you don't understand what I mean when I say that, right? right? right, right. With a list of all the the doctors, the lawyers, and all those people. You know, cause that's what they use on black male people. No. So I'm there just might be trying some females, to see. You know, females might, you know. They might have that. Yeah, if, I mean, if you got top-notch 
money on your line, then right. you, you definitely want to keep in touch. You want to keep that on your line. How, you know, and keep it confidential as much as you can. You know, that's, you know. That's, that's like dangerous. how the flights got started. Things like that, you know. She was she was dating these guys, and, would, and she, all she did was just keep the number. What's her name? Uh, uh, what's the one that got caught back in the Heidi Fleiss or whatever? Yeah, okay. like, yeah. I was she, had, ask she you. had, you know, she had big time people, and mm -hmm. I think she went to jail because she wouldn't give up. Wouldn't the give names. it up. You know I, I want to ask you about the girl. It was a girl in Houston got killed. I think she was leaving the strip club though. I don't know. She what was I a rapper know. though, wasn't she? No, yeah. she wasn't no rapper. Was she? Mm -hmm. she, she was just a, a regular girl. I remember okay. that. And, and and she came up missing by some. I think they did. They find the guy. Uh, yeah, I think they did. But um, how? I mean, how close does that hit the home when you have dealt with these situations? Been so close up on the fact of somebody could go out like that. You know, I mean, it, it, you know, you you have to be uh, aware of it because I've seen that shit change a lot of guys. You know what I'm saying? The where they was good. You know that 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 shit needs. Uh, you know, we don't have. Uh, you know, black people don't have. Uh, what you call that? Uh, we don't we don't spend money on therapy. And all that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Counseling and, they, and, all. counseling and all that shit. You know, we see all our people die. You know, we watch people die in our face and shit like that, and we just have to deal with it. And then if you thrash out and do something crazy, then they say that nigga was crazy or whatnot. But they don't realize, you know, what 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 a nigga been going through. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people feel like pimps don't care about their women, and that's the that's the that's the worst misconception of it is because if she's doing everything she's supposed to do. She ain't giving you no problems, you know. You giving her instructions, she coming home with it. Of course, you gonna have, you know, you gonna you might not be in love, but you gonna love your woman. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Just like you would love your partner. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So if something happened to her, yeah. Then that shit is, you know, that fucks with mess you. with you bad. Don't yeah, it? yeah, mess with you bad. You yeah. Can saying? a pimp have a wife or a girlfriend? No, you're not supposed to. <laughs> Okay, I'm just checking. You know, they some have them, you know, but you know, some of them have them and they not active. You know what I'm saying? Because some pimps get out of the game, get married, you know, cool. You know what I'm saying? That's your thing. You know. But while you're in the game, you got to be single. I mean, you know, you don't have, you know, this game is, you know. It's flexible. It's, you know, but I just feel like if the female find out that she's paying on a married man, I don't know how long that's going to last. Because I don't know, you know, would you want to give your money to somebody that was married? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's got to be a structure. It's a street code. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just stop playing with it. It's a street code. Yeah. Now, yeah. you you, you got to understand, man, when a person come, they, 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 they look at the lifestyle and they want to, you know, you've seen this, the pimp cup. You know, you niggas had cups back in the day. Y'all yeah, yeah. niggas ain't got cups no more like me. Nah, Y'all left the cups alone, <laughs> nigga. But I got a cup, up. nigga. Nigga used to be out there with the cups. With the pinky finger with out the You the see the finger right there, everything. nigga. Yeah. Yeah. I, have my, I got my ring at the house. You know, I got that pinky finger ring, nigga. Bust it back yeah, out nigga. I don't make a nigga come out of retirement on this thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> no, so, so man, your your music is so right. dope, bro. You um, you had a song kicking the boo boo. Yeah. For the culture. Yeah. Uh, that that was a out where you came out and did the mic thing. What right, was right, what right. what made you? Uh, what made everybody's doing it? What makes yours different? It was fly. I, I mean, you know, I did mine on the track. I did mine on where pimps and hoes get famous at. You know what I'm saying? Right there on Harry Hines and Wilder Hill. You know, if you from that area, if you know what's going on, then when you see that intersection, you know, you already know what it is. You know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, That's so uh, how how fly? How did you feel about it when the finishing product was done? Man, Who I, did the production for you? Uh, that was uh. Oh man, what's what's uh uh but what the, who did did it? Huh? Did it? No, the the video. Mellow. Mellow Vision. Mellow oh yeah, yeah, yeah he went that for you. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Shout out to Mellow Shout Vision. out to Mellow Vision. Yeah, I tried yeah, to get you to come on boss talk almost a year. I'm gonna try again, uh -oh. nigga. I've been trying to get him to come <laughs> on. I like I like nah, his I like his I like his style. I like and I called him early on. Right, right, right. And you I know? had he had been doing it. He had, I'd seen a few guys doing it. You know what I'm saying? I seen guys do it in, you know, the projects in their neighborhood and repping where they from. And I just felt like, of course, me being Rollo the Pimp, I had to do it on the track. And it was smoothly done, boy. My boy yeah. went down through that. Rollo the Pimp in the house, baby. Y'all see how he yes, get sir. down. Say, man, let's talk about the high ism one more time, man. This cause that was that that's like a movie. You yeah. said is a movie. Highwayism, yeah. It's it's, it's highwayism. Is it a movie? 
Well, it's it's a movie in the making. That okay. was just a video. Yeah, I, I know. That. I watched that video. But I have a full movie that starts where that video ends. Well, take me on through that because I seen you shoot, you you right, blast, right. and you come out with the big pistol. Your girl get killed, nigga. Yeah, I yeah. watched it. Don't yeah, think, yeah, I, yeah. nigga. You yeah, think yeah. it's a game over here? <laughs> you know, they, you had your acting skills going down yeah, through there. Trying to, try to get my so just just, just, on, just walk know? me down through that. How was it doing that whole situation? Like, how was it? Like, had you done something that intense before? Let's nah, be that was that was actually my first time. And I, like I said, I just try to make. Uh, uh, you know, cinematic movies, something that people are going to, uh, uh, video, something that Dope. people going to watch more than once. Live. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I did a, a video called Through Me For A Loop. Okay. And it was kind of about a female uh, meeting a trick. She robs the trick. Yeah. You know, ooh, ooh, ooh. so I just try to make, you know, cinematic stuff. So when I did that one, I just had the old school theme and, uh... I'd use Jeff Adair. He's a... Uh, hey, uh, yeah, yeah. Got I, I, never got, I never got to meet the guy, but I hear a lot of good things. see a lot of good visuals that he do. You yeah. know, Prophecy Film's my guy, so you got to oh, work okay. with him one day. That's my guy. Okay, you got to link me up. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. That's, That's my guy. Yeah, nigga, you ain't gonna say all other niggas name don't say Prophecy, <laughs> nigga. Tell him, babe. Mm -hmm. That's my guy for real, for okay. real. Okay. So are you a full-time um, rapper? Yeah. Or a part-time rapper? No, I'm a full-time rapper. Full time rapper? He ain't no full time rapper. No, because how you gonna be? Uh, okay, because just like I tell anybody else, I said I have a lot of guys who come in here who rap, but they be in the streets. I'm like, if but you. But they get, rapping full time. But they rapping full time. You can't give both of them 100%. And, and, and your music good, so you really, you playing yourself because so you, you ain't never just went solid all the way down with it, to be honest with right. you. And we watching you, nigga. I done looked at your stuff. I see what's going on, nigga. And why you flipping not? and flopping on this game, nigga. You pimping the, you pimping the rap game? What's going on? The, pimp, the rap game pimping you. What's going on? Because you can make man. good money from it if you put your it, all into it. it. But right, it, right, right, right. you have throttled and killing most of these niggas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. fly, nigga. You didn't even know what you were coming on, did you? Nah, nah. I knew what I was talking about. This boss talk. <laughs> hey, what the boss is talking about? Talk, so why not? So I what's mean, up? I mean, like I said, man. I'm, I'm. I, I feel like I'm in it full time. You know what I'm saying? But I'm. I don't have a team. I don't have a label. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? I don't have no. Uh, uh, like a lot of these niggas got sugar daddies. You understand what I'm saying? Ooh. I don't have no nigga behind me. That's letting me wear his jewelry and giving me money and doing this old shit. To, you know, all this shit, you know, AOB, if they already know what that means. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. if, if, everything that I do, you know, this shit straight out the mud with. Hey. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I have my friends that I do have that, that help me. You know what I'm saying? If I need certain things or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? But as far as funding this shit that I got going, man, I've been having to do that shit myself. So, of course, if, if I'm doing good, then so is the music, you know what I'm saying? But if I'm, you know, something may happen, you know, in real life to where I may not be able to, you know, put my put my eggs in this basket right now. I got to take care of this right here first, and then I can get back to that. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it'd be real life situation you know what, going on, you know what I mean? What it too so, live, R.I.P. What it, what it said the same thing. Yeah. What it, what it was so real with what he said. I remember that interview. He dead and gone now, but he, he when he came yeah, on the show, he was like, "I ain't gonna, if I'm messed up, man. I'm not gonna go to the studio. I got to try to figure life out." Yeah, that's you I see do. what I'm saying. Yeah, and, yeah. and he was so yeah. so focused on the fact of keeping it real on right, the situation right, 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 to right. his brand right, right, and right. to himself. Yeah, I mean, and, I mean, you kind of because that's what you said. A lot of times, like you said, uh, they don't even listen to the music. A lot of times, they in love with. The image. The, the image and yeah. the character. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or who that is. You know, I take that like, uh, uh, it's a lot of rappers that I feel like that people don't just have in their tape decks every day. Mm -hmm. Bumping. But they get a lot of tracks and they getting shows and they doing shit like this because they, they got big internet presence. They on Instagram every day. They doing, they going live and they, you know, you know they, they in love with the character. You know what I'm saying? So it's just different. Back in the day, you know, you had to have musical talent in order to sell records. Nowadays, you know, it's not about that. It's kind of different. You know what I'm saying? How if, much if, of what, sorry, how much of what you do you put into your music all the time? Because people say they rap what they live. Mm -hmm. Do you rap everything that you live? Yeah, pretty much. Elf with some pimping. I want to know about that song. Fuck with some pimping? Yeah. Yeah, they need to fuck with some pimping. <laughs> what, 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 what inspired that? Shit, I mean, you know, just, uh, 
Renegades, uh, being out on the blade and seeing too many females doing it by themselves, thinking that they can do it by themselves. And I feel like this is a game that where I don't, I don't care what level you on as far as a female, you're going to always need a man in your corner. You can be getting a million dollars a day, but that shit gonna, you're going to get real lonely laying up in that penthouse at the top floor with just you and them dollar bills. You don't want no man laying up in that bed with you? Damn. You know what I'm saying? And, and what kind of man that's going to lay up with you and not judge you other than a pimp? Because no. you can go lay up with another type of guy, but he, you know, he, he's never going to respect what you're doing because he's going to feel like you out there doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So the only, the only person that's going to respect what you're doing and really, you know, and really treat you like you're supposed to be treated is another, it's a, it's some pimping. Let's you know talk what I'm about, saying? We got to talk about that PLAML. Oh, yeah, that's my shit. Pimping yeah. like a motherfucker. <laughs> That's the new one, right? That's the new one. Let's talk about that for a minute. Like, like, what inspired it? Like, like, how did you? I, of course, we know the pimp game inspired it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but like, like, just just break down to me how you came up with everything. I mean, really, I, it, pimping like a motherfucker was a, a project that I did with a, a, a producer named Measy, and uh, I just kind of wanted to keep the ball rolling this year. You know what I'm saying? I feel like during the pandemic. I had a lot of things going. I had a lot of shows booked, and shit just came to a halt. So I'm just trying to get back into I got with a, a distribution company, and I didn't really put out a whole bunch of music in 2020, 2021. So 2022, I just kind of wanted to hit them. And I hit them. Wow. I came out. I had uh, the whole whisper that I dropped in the beginning yeah, of yeah, 2020. Yeah, I, I, I see that. Yeah, 2022. And then I came. I wanted to just back do them with another album. Pimp like a motherfucker with it. What I feel like it's kind of like, you know, Measy got a different style. You know, Bud got his style. Measy got his style. So you know, me and Bud been rocking, you know, 12, 13 albums. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I just kind of wanted to switch it up one time, and me and him got together and did this project. And I, you know, I like it. I, How I many visuals do we get with it? Do we got any visuals yet? Uh, I I do got uh, a visual for Cologne. It'll be out this week. Okay, Cologne. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. Why did you come out with Cologne first? I mean, because I just feel like it's a little more, uh, you know, it's a little more radio friendly. I don't know if the radio going to put, you know, pick up on it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's 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 not, you know, it's not putting so much of it in their face. It's all, you know, it's just about Cologne. Everybody wants to smell good. Every female love a man that smell good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically what that's the song real. Is. Yeah, that's basically what the song is about. I need smoke. I got about three bottles, but I got that bond number nine, nigga. Hey, What's your number yeah. one cologne? The bond number nine. Hey. It's probably Bond and Creed. Creed Creed yeah. is a is a good one. Yeah, yeah. And then uh uh you know, Clive Christian. I got a bottle of that. I'm I'm yeah. loving that too. You know Man, I like my Dior's and stuff. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. It's something that like you can just abuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and some yeah. you take off for special occasions. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, right, yeah. Right, you know, uh, yeah. that cologne though. That that's a hell of a name. You came up with it on your own, just yeah. like I'm gonna just rock this off. And it speaks for itself. Sometimes when you walk in the room, you know what I'm saying. You don't even have to say nothing. The cologne nah, gonna, gonna do gonna all let, the talking for you. Gonna let a nigga if you know. got on the right scent. Psh. It's gonna kill them. They yeah, got, and they gonna let you know. See, they they smell you before they see, see you. you. Come, exactly. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. 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 What, the thing what? is, the clone is really that pimping now. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that everybody. Mm -hmm. What was that? What was up with that one? How'd you come up with that one? Man, I just felt like, uh, and, and you know what? Everybody was one of them joints. I didn't think, you know, I I did it on some. Uh, just trying to do something different, you know what I'm saying? But you know how you do them songs when you feel like, man, you done looked out for people and you done did shit for people and, you know, just trying to put some love out there, man. You know, it ain't enough love in the music, man. Everybody killing, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. robbing and, you know, I, I believe uh, uh, you manifest a lot of shit through what you talk about. You know what I'm saying? So I just try to talk about positive shit, you know what I'm saying, and shit that I, you know, want to have and, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. I don't try to, you know, do that negative. But when you look shit. at the robbing and the killing, though, you just, and I don't mean to cut y'all, but that boy PMG just, uh, just, uh, uh, basically, uh, um, got killed. Yeah. PMB, what, mm -hmm. right? PMB Rock. Rock. And, mm -hmm. um, how did, you know, when you seen that happen, dropping addresses, how, how did that, you look at that when you seen it all, or just his girl being here? How how do you move when you, like, you travel city to city, state to state, uh, how do you, how do you move? Man, just I, give us a little bit of when it. You're in, when you're in L.A., you got to move and move. You can't do no sticking. 
you know, ain't no sticking and move. You know, you gotta move, 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 move. You gotta always be, you know. And that that that's particular, real, ain't it? Yeah, that particular Roscoe's. Yeah, I go there. I done been there. I done been there too, but that's not the one that I usually go to. I used to be in Inglewood. I go to that I one go, too. Yeah, you know, right by the airport, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Hollywood. You know, we done been one. to all of them. We but, went to all but of them. But that one, you kind of like that one hood. Yeah, that's hood as a motherfucking. That's, that's the one where Money Moses went with us, and he yeah. jumped out the car, and we went. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had the twi the boys yeah. with us. Uh -huh. and see, that's the exact one. Uh, and see, I'm you know I got L.A. niggas with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not you checking just, in then. Yeah, I mean, you know, I yeah, mean, nigga. I mean, yeah, but you know, one of my, one of my, good, I mean, it's it's it's, it's pivot, so it's like it's kind of like a fraternity. Okay. So in every city we go to, it's gonna be peas like that. So that's who I'm linking in with. You know, if I go somewhere, I ain't got no. I I can go to a city I've never been to before. I'm gonna call a few P. Hey man, I'm finna go over here to they gonna tell you something. It's a yeah, network. They gonna, yeah, they gonna say, hey man, look in, talk to uh, uh T Money. T Money gonna take care of you. He gonna woo, you know, he gonna make sure you, you know, you get your weed from the weed man. You ain't gonna get robbed. You ain't gonna do none of this because you know it's been times like I've been to New Orleans, nigga robbed me, all kind of shit. Nigga robbed you in New Orleans. Oh yeah. Let's talk about that. I mean, you know, know I mean, it, but you you got caught slipping. Yeah. You but, know, you didn't but, know the but, nigga. You ain't know the I, nigga as you wanna got robbed. Exactly. That's and that's how I learned. That's how, and I wasn't fucking with no pimping. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even doing what the song said. <laughs> <laughs> what I what fuck, happened? I you just got caught I, on. A, you I, was on. Got off bourbon. They told your ass. I was on. Don't bourbon. get off bourbon. I you went to the hustler club. I met somebody. Somebody in the hustle club gave me a number to a nigga that was supposed to meet me in the alley with the weed. Met the nigga in the alley with the weed. The nigga got in the car. The nigga, I had two hundred dollars in my hand that I was, you know, for the pan, for the pan for the weed. The nigga snatched the two hundred dollars, pulled a pistol on me, snatched the two hundred dollars weed. Like, yeah, nigga, I'm taking this. Woo, I'm like, hey man, okay. Cool, just don't, you know, don't kill the pimp, man. Whatever. Don't kill the pimp. Yeah, don't kill the pimp. Yeah, don't on, kill the pimp. Yeah, don't kill the pimp. Yeah, the man was like, cool. He took the money and got on out the car. So he didn't ask for nothing else? I had 2000 in my head. Under he the didn't head even rest. know. He didn't even reach for it under the head rest. He just took the 200 and dipped. So, you know, I, that was a blessing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I took that lesson. Yeah, I never fuck with nobody else outside of who the pimp is, you know. Right, the circuit. Yeah. That was it, man. And you, you, you prayed about it right then. Oh yeah. Because Why you were driving away? Because what if you know you had certain situations where and they could have shot stupid, you, just shot you for anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. And still wouldn't have gotten that two thousand dollars because he wouldn't have known about it. Yeah, well, he might have got it. He might have like on boys on Minister's side and clean yeah. the window off, kick yeah. your ass out. Yeah, he might have got. You it, ain't see that the other night when I was watching it. Yeah, they could have did that. Then. Yeah, but he wasn't. He was so interested in that two hundred, you know, and trying to hurry up and get out. And like I say, we we in the middle of Bur oh, on the, we went from Bergen. Now y'all done got off track. Town. Yeah. yeah, we was like in, you know a couple streets over yeah. in, in one of them little, on one of them little. They streets. told you don't get a. Around, huh? They don't give a damn. Shit. Man, well, got you got your butt off of bourbon and got yourself over there in the mix yeah. of trouble. And so, so when I go to L.A., I'm with my people. You know uh-huh. What about, um, uh, man, you ever go down to H-Town, man? Why do you, you yeah. being in Dallas knowing the music so much, why do you feel like like the H-Town the music is so different from the Dallas music? I mean, but shit, because I feel like, I've always said H-Town, they just know how to do business better than Dallas. Wow. You know Break that saying? down. I mean, because uh, H-Town artist, when he come to Dallas, he gonna have, he may have five or six niggas with him. One of them is the cameraman. One is the computer guy. One of them is, you know, all of them got jobs. One of them is the road manager. You know, somebody doing something. Dallas nigga, he gonna come in. He got six, seven, eight niggas with him, and ain't none of them niggas doing nothing but rolling weed and taking up space. Ain't nobody working. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And so that's that's where I feel like the difference is. And then you got guys, you got successful. You know, rappers in Houston, you don't have a lot of successful rappers in Dallas. You got way more in, in you know, you got... Because majority of them moved to Houston, that's why. Yeah, but a lot of them was already, you know, you got majority of the switch out, like Slim Thug, Power Wild, Lil Flip. Uh, you got a, a, a core of guys, Scarface, Devin the Dude, you got a core of guys that was in Houston and was making, and, and was being successful. You got record labels, rap a lot. You had uh, Suave House. You so know, do you have to move to Houston to be successful in rap? Uh, I don't. I mean, Houston, it, it might help. I know a lot of guys that done it. I don't think you have to, but I just think you have to be serious about your business because it's guys in Dallas that have done it. 
You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But you know, you just have to. I feel like you have to. You have to get outside your circle. You have to get yeah. outside your. You know what? You, you know what you got going on in in the city in order to bubble. You know what I'm saying? You can only out of get, your routine. Yeah, you, you only getting so far in your. You know, in your city. Who you liking right now in the music outside of yourself? And rap wise, yeah, yeah, rap wise, Dallas or everywhere. anywhere. Man, I'm I'm digging a lot of niggas, man. I Top like, three artists all the time. I'm after to play with you. Dead, dead or alive. alive, any genre. I'm tired of playing now. I got to get out to the business. Mm -hmm. Number one, Pop. That nigga, there he is right there. Yeah. Number two, Pimp. That nigga said Pimp. Give it up, nigga. Yeah. Now yeah. you, now we can start. That's my guy. Number three. I had to say Snoop. Snoop. Yeah. yeah, I said, no, you going to say Snoop. That's your yeah. boy right there, ain't it? Yeah. Snoop got a thing for the pimps, you yeah. know. That's what that was. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. you got to rock with Snoop, man. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, you know. I How did you like that when you seen Snoop uh, uh, doing all that back in the days with all the pimps and all that, that whole movement? I mean, I, you know, I liked it. I, I didn't know. Back then, you wasn't even in it, was you? No. Nah. And like yeah. I said, you know, you know, back then, I just thought it was just some cool shit that yeah. they were doing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't necessarily... Convey it to the pimp until he just till he start hanging with the bishop. When I seen him hang with the bishop, I like okay, he really trying to do some pimping. I thought he was just on some fly player shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like when he did the uh, uh, with the uh, fabulous dramatics and shit like that. Oh yeah, that you know, was clean just, too. That shit was just fly. I just liked that you know fly type of music. You know I liked this gangster shit too. But you know the, the you know like I say the pimp shit. You know the, the fly shit. That's the shit that I liked. You know what I'm saying? MJG. You know, I'm you know, I just you know, I'm just into that type of shit. You know what mm -hmm, I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Outcast, you know what I'm saying? One of my favorite rappers is Project Pat, but you asked me for my top three. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, 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 for Pat sure. Pat is probably my top five. I didn't ask you for your top five. I don't even try to go there. It's easy pimping. <laughs> slick pimping in the building. You gotta watch these niggas, they slick boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I like I said, I, I just I love the fact that your music is so it's it's fly, it's refreshing. I'm a fan. I'll and be I listening. It. I appreciate I'm gonna it. be listening. Yeah. Niggas told me. Shout out to uh, my boy uh, Big D uh, Dallas. He said, "Man, make sure you That's interview Rallo." Yeah. Man, he said he'll he'll real one. Of course, Al D. He called That's me like called right me and put man. me on the phone. Al D. Shout out Al D. E man, E man, you yes, got. Sir. I told you you need to interview Rallo, man. You gotta <laughs> interview <laughs> Rallo, man. That nigga is nice with that music, man. Yeah. And we got some shit coming too. Y'all do? Yeah, yeah. I'm on the uh, the. the uh, What's that, David Street? David yeah. Coming yeah. You on that? Yeah. That was hard, too. Yeah. yeah. Man, that's a blessing, bro. Like, me and him talked this right before this interview, before we left the house, we was talking to him. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah man. man, love that dude, man. Always showing love to the show, man. Yeah, man, he got good heart, A man. real one, real bro. Man. A real one, bro. Yeah. Like, and, and there's not a lot of niggas out there that genuinely, you know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. They're not real with it. Yeah, and yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. I, I respect him a lot, his family, everything that boy doing, man. And, and he can't wait till that David Street come out. It's about to yeah. go crazy. That movement here. he got is, is... It's serious, ain't yeah. it? Yeah, the, the way he... I, I told him, I said, man, I learned a lot from... The way you move. You, yeah, to watch how you move, because, you know what I mean? Yeah. He got his shit is unorthodox, but it works. It works, don't yeah, it? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah. Man, I, I tell you, man, did we, did we get, get everything? Let me see, did we get all the meat off the bone? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so where can people find you if they want Correct. to do some wanna, music with yeah. you? Or if they want to get down with the pen. But now they <laughs> Everywhere. You understand me? You Earth is me? your turf. Yeah, Earth is my turf. You dig hey. I'm, I'm on Apple Music, Spotify, all of, you know, all, all major music platforms. You can find me. Instagram, Rollo the Pimp. You know, I got, uh, 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 I'm working on my uh, website. Oh, yeah? Rollo the Pimp, LLC. Yeah, that's I'm what's up, man. I got a movie that's coming out. In January, January the first, dope, two dope. Week, called Game Related. Dope, dope, Game Related. How did you come up with that? Uh, actually, a friend of mine from Vegas. He's a uh, one of my uh, friend of mine. He's a good painter over there. He does a lot of art. I'm gonna have to turn you on. Okay. So, and uh, he he the one that came up with the whole movie. Just wanted me to get in it. Love. And put me in it. I don't have a big part. I got about 15, 20 minutes. Don't matter. Sound, you you cool. two in that hole. Yeah, and then I'm over the whole soundtrack as well. So. Oh, man. It's going to be flying. Yeah, so you know the soundtrack. Ooh, that sound, man. man. I like that, man. That's why yeah. I say, man, you don't get all the way yeah, in, nigga. Yeah, you yeah. go over to die. The in, movies nigga. are the next thing that I'm trying to do. That's why I say after that, you know, I had a Highway Is a movie that I have already wrote. And then I got a whole, I got like two or three of them that me and my guy 
we get together, we have our right night. So I, I got I got some shit jumping off. Man, say so, man, hey man, we love you, Rollo, man. I'm so man, glad I, I got an opportunity it. to meet you, man. And to, yeah. I, I mean, I hope we did you justice, man. You did. You're yes, always sir. welcome to come back on the show, man. Real talk. Man, thank you. You thank got you, you got you. my number on speed dial. We Better we know. finally locked it in. We we tried it first. It didn't just <laughs> happen like that. I mean, I, you it know, happened when it was supposed it, to. There you go, it man. It and and, and I just like I said, it's been a lot of a lot of cats I done interviewed, man. In, in, a, in, a, in a year span and and hey man you know you one of those guys bro man, so it. like you I said man your spirit is right shit. bro I know you're a good man cause you know Al D you know he, he, when, when a nigga like that stamp you yeah. it, it, it gotta be right cause we talk a lot you know right, what I mean right, 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 it's like right. he a good one he so yeah. I respect that man, man appreciate it yes appreciate sir man yes, sir. hey man check it man it's been another great segment you did Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk that boy Rollo the pimp was hey, on in the building hey big pimp man holla <laughs> hey, yeah. your boy it's a unique hustle <laughs>